I see the Greybeards were right about you as well. Bloodthirsty barbarians. You go too far, Dragonborn. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't put you down right now. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. You will be remembered for generations for this. We are here on the PC, and this is Hill. Got two followers with me today. We have Lydia, and we now have Gorbash, the Iron Hand. Uh, did a few things off camera, like uh, recruiting Gorbash. And um, we are now here today to do the final story mission in the main storyline. And that is Parthenax. So, Delphine and Esburn have discovered that Parthenax was one of Alduin's chief allies during the ancient Dragon War. They refuse to give me any more help until I kill Parthenax. I should probably speak to Arngir and Parthenax before making such a critical decision. Now, I have installed the mod Parthenax Dilemma, so I will not be forced to kill Parthenax because personally I do not believe that he should die. Alright, and that's just, you know, my personal opinion, so here we go. to talk to Angier. And this will conclude uh, the storyline here for this character. And if I do another character, I will probably explore some of the Civil War stuff. But for now, this looks like this will probably be the last episode with the Adventures of Sundar. I hope you have enjoyed. Now, where's Arngir is not where I'm expecting him to be. Okay, come on now. See, see how bad I am with maps? Look at this. Because I know the... Oh my goodness. Okay, I see. There he is. Can I get down here? There he is. Oh, they're still sitting at the table. I can see it in your eyes. You've seen the land of the gods and returned. Does this mean it is done? Is Alduin truly defeated? Yes. I went to Sovereign God and killed Alduin there. At last. It is over. Perhaps it was all worth it in the end. You've shown yourself mighty, both in voice and deed. In order to defeat Alduin, you have gained mastery of dreadful weapons. Now it is up to you to decide what to do with your power and skill. Will you be a hero whose name is remembered in song throughout the ages? Or will your name be a curse to future generations? Or will you merely fade from history, unremembered? Let the way of the voice be your guide. The path of wisdom will be clear to you. Breath and focus, Dragonborn. Your future lies before you. So that's it. We are all in your debt, Dragonborn. Is Alduin really dead? I didn't absorb his soul when he died. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Dragons are not like normal mortal creatures, and Alduin is unique, even among dragon kind. He may be permitted to return at the end of time to fulfill his destiny as the World Eater. But that is for the gods to decide. You have done your part. The Blades want me to kill Parthenax. Now you see why I've warned you against them, bloodthirsty barbarians. Is it true what they said? 
Was he Alduin's ally? Yes. But understand, during the days of Alduin's rule, all dragons were his allies. There was nothing else they could be. If not for Parthenax, Alduin could not have been overthrown. It was he the first taught men to use the Thum. Don't worry. I'm not going to kill Parthenax. Kinnerith has placed the voice of wisdom within you, Dragonborn. All you need do is learn to listen to it, and your path will be clear. Sky above, voice within. All right, well, it looks like we have exhausted our conversation with Angier. Let's go talk to Parthenax. If I can find the way out. All right, and rather than take that journey, I think. Can I uh, fast travel up here? Yes. Fast travel to the throat of the world where Parthenax resides. Can I help you with anything? And all these other dragons, too, are still up here. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. So, it is done. Alduin Dilon. The eldest is no more. He who came before all others and has always been. I have no regrets. Alduin had to be destroyed. Of course. Alduin Wachlan Dani. I would not have helped you if I thought otherwise. You did what was necessary. Alduin had flown far from the path of right action in his Pachlok, in the arrogance of his power. But I cannot celebrate his fall. Zutiraz Ach Ochma. He was my brother once. This world will never be the same. I was just fulfilling my destiny as Dragonborn. Indeed, you saw more clearly than I. Certainly more clearly than Alduin. Roch Funta Korav. Perhaps now you have some insight into the forces that shape the Benesetid, the currents of time. Perhaps you begin to see the world as a Dova. But I forget myself. Krosis, Solos Midfadon, Melancholy is an easy trap for a Dova to fall into. You have won a mighty victory, Shahroch Kongrach. One that will echo through all the ages of this world for those who have eyes to see. Savor your triumph, Dovakin. This is not the last of what you will write upon the currents of time. That can't be it. Drem your lock. Greetings. The blades say you deserve to die. The blades are wise not to trust me. Only Khan Miov. I would not trust another Dova. Why shouldn't they trust you? Dov Walan Farel. We were made to dominate. The will to power is in our blood. You feel it in yourself, do you not? I can be 
trusted. I know this, but they do not. Only Khan Niov Dova. It is always wise to mistrust a Dova. I have overcome my nature only through meditation and long study of the way of the voice. No day goes by where I am not tempted to return to my inborn nature. Zim Griforwut se suyek. What is better, to be born good or to overcome your evil nature through great effort? All right. So. Now I need to speak with the blades. Where? But I still have something here for Parson. Speak. I will listen. I wish to meditate on a word of power. Which calls to you, Dovakin? Fus, Fam, or Yol? Fam. Fade in your tongue. Mortals have greater affinity for this word than the dove. Everything mortal fades away in time, but the spirit remains. Ponder the meaning of spirit. Unslad zee. Where mortal flesh may wither and die, the spirit endures. That is fine. Let that meaning fill you, Sum Ark Mora. You will find that your spirit will give you more strength. Ooh, eternal spirit added. Look through. Okay, I'm not sure why he's still highlighted, but it looks like we need to move on. Where are the blades? Here we go. Skyhaven Temple. So let's see. I, From what I know, what little I know of this mod, I don't think it's fully voiced, so you will need to pay attention to the subtitles if this is going to work. Let's see. I think, yeah, they're back up here. the news from Whiterun that you left the city on the back of a dragon. That's a little showy, even for you. Since you're still alive, I assume you have good news to report. Yes, I used Alduin's portal to travel to Sovereign God. He's dead. Gods above, that's better news than I had hoped. When you walked into my inn that day, I never imagined where it would all lead. Dragons out of legend. Sovereign Guard. About Parthenax. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. I have decided to spare his life. Okay, so as you can see, we've got... What is it? That's not my decision, anyway. I'm sorry, I'll try to read the, the subtitles as they come up, if you didn't catch them. So that is your answer. Revenge? I thought the blades were better than this. The atrocities he committed against mankind were evil and unforgivable. This isn't about revenge. And I'm not going to do a female voice, folks, so, hey. We wouldn't even be here to discuss this if it weren't for Parthenax. And are you so blind as to let that dragon manipulate you into this? You have no idea what you're dealing with. Letting him live is dangerous. So did you question the authority of Reman Cyrodiil or Taba Septim this way? 
Those were different times and proven leaders. No one had reason to question either one of them. You realize without Parthenax, Taba Septim could not be who he was, right? A nice attempt to deflect the issue, but this is not going to change anything. That dragon has to die for his crimes, regardless of who you invoke. Runicky savages. That is what you have become, as bad as the Thalmor. How dare you even suggest such a thing? You test our patience. I see the Greybeards were right about you as well, bloodthirsty barbarians. You go too far, Dragonborn. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't put you down right now. As a traitor to the cause. Dragnefos, bye. Do not force my wrath if you know what's good for you. By the gods, the power of the tongues, very well. I have no desire to die here today. Are you sure this is what you want? <laughs> Parthenax will be spared. Honor my decision. We will not speak of this again. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we threw a little drama in there at the end. Because, I mean, she seems like she's a bit of a dramatic uh, person. But, folks, that's the end of the main storyline. That's the end of the story here of Sundar. I thank you all for watching. And I will catch you in my next series. So long.